contacts. This one, this function will, well, this is the function that will create our, an OpenGL, a different version of OpenGL, a 2.1. And we can make that OpenGL 2.1, we can make, uh, make it active for our, just to initialize our stuff. So we can initialize glue in it, you know. We need that in order to initialize all the OpenGL functions and all that stuff that we can need. So make sure it equals glue okay because if it doesn't, we're gonna return false. So now here it comes to that will set the 4.0 version. version of OpenGL and we can call it attribute list make sure it's the list one not the other one with the list int make sure it's the list we can set the first one to equal to WGL context major version RAB really oh I misspelled it hold on Make sure you spell things right, guys. And you don't be a dumb like myself. Make sure you set it to four and to be our minor, which which will be the stuff that will be, be after the decimal. So four, and then point zero zero or whatever it will be the minor will be the minor version. So we can set three to equal zero. And then we're gonna set the null terminator for it to set it to zero as well. So we're gonna create an OpenGL 4.0 rendering context. So M rendering context equals WGL creates context attrib ARB and device context you can pass zero attribute list and make sure and rendering make sure if our rendering context does not equal null that means that 4.0 uh, can be initializing our system that means that our system does not suck I apologize I don't mean no offense guys I'm sorry if I offended you. That means uh, 4.0 can be initialized to our system. So we can uh, uh, delete our current one because remember we set a temporary one on top. We can set it to null. WGL delete contacts which is the temp open GL one and then we can set it set the we can remake the current one to ch change it to 4.0 so set the rendering context active set the rendering context to 4.0 like yay result equals w make current and device damn it I keep using the wrong one device contacts and M rend okay it's either one or the other rendering contacts and make sure initialize it correctly and if it doesn't equal one that means it's an error it has to equal one, guys. It has to. It just has to. Okay, we almost done, guys. A couple more lines. A couple more lines. We're almost there. You could, you could do it. You could do it, guys. See, we're that last strength that you guys have. So, Bender, I still. Really? It's not really a. Well, 
Ah. Bender Shore. Just because I can, guys. Just because I can. It's not really a shark because a shark is just one character. So I guess I understand why it would be a string. So we're gonna get GL get string of GL vendor. So this will get the name of the graphics card. And GL get string for our GL renderer and then we want to store the information of, of our graphics graphics card so we can use SDR CPY and we can add M video card description to be the vendor string, not string, vendor shark. Right? So SDR cats, we can set the, uh, the rest of it to be the video discard, video card description. Really couldn't make me type that. And we can pass in a dash. And then for our last one is cat S. Meow. Meow. Every time I think of that, I think of a like meow. Of a cat. Am I weird, guys? Am I weird? I'm a weirdo. No. Am I weirdo? Is it weird to think of a cat? Anyways, after that, we can... Oh, why is it an error? Oh, gel. Huh. Huh. Okay. So now here comes where you want to set our B-Sync. If you want B-Sync on, you're gonna say WGL swap interval EXT. You can set it to one, which means true. Else, you're gonna set result equals WGL swap interval again. And we can set it to zero, that means false. That way you don't want desync in here. And make sure, make sure desync was set correctly. So you can do F result does not equal one. And return false. And then some nifty part that I like to do, which is something simple. GL version, we're gonna have an array of two, and we're gonna set each one to equal negative one. And we're gonna get GL get integer. integer v which you all get our gl major version and we can set that to our first gl version of our first one and then we can get the other one get the minor version gl minor make sure you spell it right minor version and we can set it to our our second array element and then we can do see out initializing OpenGL success Because I'm a badass, so because I say that because I'm a badass. I don't know. If you want to keep it professional, probably you don't want to do that. So, using yeah, this will tell you what type of OpenGL you guys 
we are actually using. So we can say GL version of zero the dot because it's a you see there could be four point dot and then either point oh or it could be two point one so depending which one you are using and then we could uh, print out our GPU the name of our GPU so M video card description and DL and then we can return true and yay guys finally look at all this stuff they just created right now from 17 to 153 lines of code right now just for that low line seriously initializing OpenGL can suck tremendously seriously it's almost about an hour I'm seriously gonna be spinning up I'm gonna speed up this thing I'm not sure if I could do that when I'm rendering this and if I can that'll be awesome I'm pretty sure I can but I'll be speeding up this tutorial so it could be a little bit faster guys cuz man it's terrible okay we have a couple more stuff to do we gotta begin our scene and the scene and then release it those functions are gonna be really small so don't worry guys we're almost there function we're gonna begin this function will begin the scene for OpenGL Void OGL begin scene, which consists of float red, float blue, float green, and float alpha. So you're gonna start typing faster because um, I type slow, guys. So we're gonna get GL and clear color, which can pass in red. Blue, green, and we can pass out alpha in here, and then GL clear for GL color buffer bit, and also for our def buffer bit. GL def buffer bit and that's it that's all for our begin scene and then for our, for our other function we'll, which will end scene for OpenGL void OGL and scene we're gonna need uh, this is like three lines of code we can uh, flush our screen we're gonna swap the buffers to show us what to show us what we need to see on the screen and device context and then geo finish so that's it and our final step which is the release which will release memory release OpenGL stuff probably you don't want to put stuff at the end in there but it's up to you guys up to you up to you no seriously I'm gonna jump off a building today no, not really but hmm then we can do our M rendering context I don't know why I had my headphones on for the past hour. Don't know why I had my headphones on. Because I don't need it. I'm not listening to any music or anything. <sighs> you you don't want to slap me, guys? Seriously, I need, I need some sense knocking into me. Some sense. It's knocking into me, guys. Anyways, we could, if the random context was initialized, then make sure we can... Uh, Set the set the rendering the current rendering context to be no, and we're gonna delete that. M rendering context 
and then m rendering context to equal zero if our device context was initialized we're gonna release uh, DC. Every time I think of DC, I think of the comic books. I don't know. I don't know why. Come on. How can someone not think of the comic books? Freaking Batman and all that stuff, you know? So release our context. For DC, probably, is the, probably stands for device context. So, But yeah. Anyways. And there you go, guys. Our... Oh. I was so happy right now. What the heck going on here? A predefined character bit. Character unknown. May I know exactly where exact. Oh, 149. 149. 149. Oh, there we go. Make sure you have this. You're not copy what I did. And do not put it the chevrons in the other way. Make sure you did that. And after that, it should be initialized. Fine. We haven't called this class yet. We can do that next. So we in the next video, we can create our graphics card. I mean graphics card. We're going to create our graphics class, which will initialize my OpenGL and Sprite Batch. But Sprite Batch will be later on. I'm getting ahead of myself today. But our next one will be creating graphics. And then after we create our graphics, then... We're going to call it and then start initialize OpenGL. Or we're going to call these classes and we can initialize OGL, which we'll do all, all stuff today. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Apologize for this being long. Freaking on OGL takes about an hour to initialize. But we'll take a bit, little bit low. Uh, it'll take a little bit. It'll be faster for you guys because I'm going to speed it up. So, you guys won't take forever. So. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope you guys thumbs up this video. I apologize for being bored. I may put some sound at the back. Alright, so it won't be too boring. So, I'll probably put like a Mario sound because Mario is awesome. So, if you're a ninja, guys, like you said, thumbs up this video. If you're a ninja, thumbs up, okay? Please. Alright, guys, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Signing out.